Jesus. It's all about Jesus. You know, God knowing all things made it so simple, but yet so many rejected. So many people, they just don't want to accept how simple and easy it all is. They just feel like they have to do something. So let's go to Matthew. This is Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. All right. Come unto me. This is Jesus talking is meant by Jesus to reveal himself as the giver of salvation. All you who labor and are heavy laden, trying to earn salvation by works, and I will give you rest. This rest can only be found by placing one's faith in Christ and what he has done for us at the cross. The simplicity, the ease of this, Jesus is saying, it's not works, but it is faith. All you have to do is come to me, believe in me, and I will give you the rest. Without Jesus, without this, you labor, you heavy, you're heavy laden because you're trying to earn something from the Lord. Who are you? that you can earn something from the Lord. 29, take my yoke upon you, the yoke of the cross, and learn of me, learn of his sacrifice, for I am meek and lowly in heart, the only thing that our Lord personally said of himself. And ye shall find rest unto your souls. The soul, the soul can find rest only in the cross. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. What he requires of us is very little, just to have faith in him, in his sacrificial atoning work. That's it. This is the greatest deal in the history of the universe that was, is, or will be. All we have to do is believe. We do the believing. He does the doing. Why do so many refuse to believe the simplicity? Why do they refuse to believe the words of our Lord and Savior? Take his yoke upon you. You can receive the rest. The burden is light. His yoke is easy. Now we go to... Matthew 16 and uh, 16 and 24. Then Jesus said unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. The denial of one's strength and ability. So that ties into what we were just seeing with the trying to earn salvation by works, how that, that is a labor, how you will be heavy laden. This is what happens when you don't deny yourself. So if you're going to come after Jesus, deny yourself, take up his cross, the benefits of the cross, what Jesus did there. And follow me. If Christ is not followed by the means of the cross, he cannot be followed at all. So, and we could even continue. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Let me say it again. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. All right. He tries to live his life outside of Christ and the cross. It can only be lived in Christ through the cross. 
And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Lose his life to Christ, which means to give his life to Christ, which can only be done through the cross. He then finds newness of life. So, when we do things God's way, it's easy. It's simple. All that is required is our faith. We do the believing. He does the doing. It doesn't get better than that. All right. So. You hear it. You see it. People. That are not denying themselves. And they're coming up with plans and programs and schemes and things that they're calling new things and to try to bring about something from God using their own will, their own strength, their own ideas. And this is foolishness. It is a finished work with Christ. A finished work with Christ. There's nothing new. There is nothing new. The problem has been, is, and will be the same. It's sin. Sin is the only problem, period. The only solution to sin is what? Jesus Christ and crucified. That's it. There is no other solution. So why not not deny yourself and come up with programs and schemes and such to try to earn something from God when it's easy and it's God's way to just deny yourself, pick up that cross of Christ, and follow Jesus. I want you to think about that. You can either have faith in Jesus Christ or go and labor, go and be heavy laden, go outside the will of God. Go your way, not his way. What is easier, God's way or your way? So I would encourage everyone, accept the simple truth that sin is the problem and that Jesus Christ alone is a solution, and that he is the light, the way, and the truth. So deny yourself, take up the cross, and follow Jesus. All right? Because as he has said, come unto me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Jesus is telling you clearly, come to him. It is the simple, easy way. We do the believing, he does the doing. But you hear it time and time again. Someone coming out with a, a new program, a new revelation, a new understanding. That's just foolishness. Here's the thing. When you don't deny yourself and instead you... Use your will, your ability, your brain. You're dealing in the flesh. 
period. When you do things God's way, you're dealing in the spirit, period. So it is impossible. I mean, it is impossible to have any dealings with God outside of the spirit. The flesh cannot please God. He will not accept it. So you will not get understanding, knowledge, wisdom with your efforts. You can only receive it from God, and that is through the spirit. The spiritual wisdom, the spiritual knowledge, the spiritual knowledge can only be received spiritually from God. This is not a carnal flesh thing. This is a spiritual thing. You come to the Lord, you serve the Lord in spirit and truth. This is not a flesh thing. The flesh, which is yourself, your fleshly desires, enemies of God, your, the world, the flesh, and the devil hate Jesus. They hate God. The flesh, which is who you are as a person individually without God, it wants what it wants, whatever that may be. So all the flesh wants, which is you without God, all it wants is what it wants. That's it. The world wants you to live by the flesh. The devil wants you to live by the flesh. Because if you're living by the flesh, you're on a one-way ticket to a lake of fire. So, let's just do things God's way. Let's believe his word. All right? It's all about Jesus. That is the faith God presents you that can get you saved. It is the faith that you keep to keep you saved. Jesus. It's all about what he did on the cross. And as the word has said, do you want to rest in the Lord? Deny yourself. His yoke is easy. His burden is light. All he requires is you to have faith in him, in his finished work. That's it. I want you to spend some time and think about that and then give God thanks, praise, and glory and worship. In exchange for us to have faith in what he has done for us, he offers us untold blessings untold blessings that are that I just there what can I even say what can God not bless in our lives if we are living correctly God can affect us spiritually he can affect us physically he can affect us mentally, emotionally, financially. There's no ways that God can't affect us in, in, in his way. We can be blessed in any aspect of our life by God. So why try to come up with a plan, a program, a scheme just so you can try to bring glory to yourself and even worse, try to make money from it when the solution is Jesus because the problem is sin. When will the day come where people will want to do things the Lord's way? When will 
when will people want to read the word of God? When will the day come where people want, will want to live the word of God? Will the day ever come? You know, God is in heaven right now on his throne. Jesus is on the right hand of the Father on his throne. The Holy Spirit on the left of the Father. And there's God looking at his son in whom he is well pleased. Knowing what his son has done for everyone and then having to see so many who claim to be a Christian that are refusing to deny themselves. They refuse not to labor. They refuse not to be heavy laden. They refuse to take upon the yoke of Christ. They refuse to have it easy in their burden light. Because faith is not good enough. You know, when you have real faith, it's good enough. When you have faith, you won't, you won't have a desire to do something. You won't have any fleshly desires. Because when you have true faith, you understand that it's a finished work, and it's in Jesus' hands. So you'll understand that. But tragically, so many people don't. Tragically, so many people, their faith is just not correct. They'll tell you that their faith is in the Lord, but it's really not. And you know this by their actions, the way they talk, the way they act, the way they live, so on and so on. So... But God help us. So the bottom line is sin is a problem and Jesus is a solution. God bless you.